Six years ago, my dad began having issues with headaches, sore throats, and constant fatigue. He tried treating the problem with over-the-counter medications and lots of caffeine. Finally, he talked to his doctor who confirmed our suspicions. Dad had sleep apnea. He didn't like the idea of using a CPAP, but after trying it one night, he was convinced. We found everything he needs for a much better quality of life at in-home medical. Our spotlight story tonight is about how the Moses Lake Museum and Arts Center is featuring art from Soap Lake. Reporter Jeff Chu has the details. The quirky little arts community of Soap Lake went on exhibit at Moses Lake Museum and Arts Center. The gallery exhibit called Side Stitched and In Between, Soap Lake Through the Lens and More is dedicated to the late Soap Lake arts advocate Brent Blake. It opened Friday night with great fanfare. Soap Lake photographer Kathy Kiefer, who curated the exhibit with artist Allison Gooding, says it seemed to be channeling Brent Blake's positive spirit and energy. I feel like there's a real presence of Brent Blake. I mean, if you, you pan and you see the, the you know, almost full-size image of him sitting in the chair, it's a black and white portrait that Gavin Syme took, but it's a really beautiful image of Brent. And then we have that blob from the, the, the mechanical, the piece from the mechanical lava lamp that was in Times Square um, for, I don't know, how, how millions of people saw it. Here it is in this museum. You know, if you just look at the eyes are watching, there's been a lot of eyes on that and, and still people can still see it today and, and just, you know, learn a little bit about Brent and his legacy. Soap Lake's own 91-year-old Bonnie guitar was introduced by Soap Lake Mayor Raymond Gravel. She and her band Blue Indigo performed some of her favorites. Raffle tickets were sold for a colorful community-made quilt to raise money for the Brent Blake Scholarship Fund to benefit art students at Big Bend Community College. The scholarship fund was recently created in the name of Blake, who died last year of cancer. We wanted it to really represent Soap Lake. We wanted it to feel like Soap Lake, and we wanted people who, who artists in Soap Lake to have a part in it, to, to show their work. It was, it's a very inclusive show. It's really inclusive, and uh, that's the way we wanted it. It feels, it feels like Soap Lake. Kiefer said she was happy with the outcome of the exhibit. It, it did, it's turned out beautifully. I'm Jeff Chu for i Fiber One News. We will be right back after this. <laughs> 